Hey, what's up guys? We're out here at the Ridge Motorsports Park and in today's video, I'm gonna be testing out the new Dunlop Q5 Plus tires on my 2013 GSX-R750. I'm gonna be giving session by session reports on how these tires are hooking up out here at the Ridge Motorsports Park. So let's jump right into it. So before we go out on the track for our first session, let's just do a quick walk around on the bike. This is my 2013 GSX-R750. I've got a brand new set of Dunlop Q5S tires mounted up front and rear. And I've been a Dunlop guy for many, many years, all the way back to when it was Dunlop Q2s, and then Q3s, and then Q3 Pluses. And I'm really excited to give these a try. So let's jump out in the first session and see how they do. All right, we are going out for our first session out here in the advanced group at two fast track days at the Ridge Motorsports Park. These are brand new tires. They were not on warmers. As a front set at 30, rear set at 28. I'm going to take it easy for the first couple laps to get these scrubbed in and up to temperature. And then we can open it up a little bit. session out on the Q5 front tire we got almost to the edge of the tire wall that session but well, this is a left-handed track so we're really gonna want to look at the left hand side of the tire where it looks good let's check out the rear all right here is the rear tire after one session at the ridge again this is 28 pounds cold I don't know what that is. That's some weird tear away there. Like, so we're seeing an interesting wear, wear bar here. I mean, especially right there. Let's roll it back a little bit, take another look. All right, yeah, we're seeing this kind of consistently, the stair. So we're gonna go over to the Dunlop guy and get some advice for tire temperature. All right, we are out for session two. And after my first session, I went to the Dunlop rep here to ask what tire pressures I should run. And I was running way too low a tire pressure, which would make sense, which would explain the tire wear that I was getting on my tire. So he told me I needed to run 36 front and rear hot is what I'm running now, which is a pressure that I have never ran before. It's really high. So we'll see how it feels. I'm going to be honest, in that first session, it felt really sticky, like excessively sticky. And so this higher tire pressure might be, might be the right, right way to go. <laughs> After lunch, we're gonna go out for the third session. When I came in from the last session, the hot pressure was at 37 front and rear, so I dropped it down just one pound of air to 36 front and rear hot pressures. See if that affects how this feels out here. So far, the Q5S has felt really, really good grip-wise. It's doing some funny stuff uh, as far as tire wear and the first two sessions. Let's see what it looks like after this one. All right, that was the third session. Let's take a look at the rear tire. That is weird stuff. Yeah, we're getting a lot of tearing right here. That's weird. And on this side. Look how gummy that is. Definitely feeling really confident with the corner entry braking. I haven't seen this kind of goo balling on my front tire before. And there's also like some 
interesting tear patterns there. So again, this is three sessions. All right, this is the rear tire after three sessions. We're getting some weird tear there and some tear there. And I'm almost down to the wear bar after three sessions. Not happy about that wear. All right, so I called a couple of my friends called Fuzzy. He said too much air. And Carlos Lewis also said too much air. So I've dropped the pressure down to 30 cold, which is also within the Dunlop website range of pressures. So we'll see how it does with 30 cold. This is session four. sessions. Oh, that looks a lot better. I mean, somewhat. Still getting, actually no, I take it all back. Look at that tear bar. Both sides of the tire are getting destroyed. All right, just got done with the fourth session. Let's take a look at our front tire on the right side. Almost to the edge. Looking pretty good. Now the left side, this is a counterclockwise track, so the left side of the tire is going to get more use. There's this interesting wear bar there and I'm running he recommended 36 cold front pressure from Dunlop's website and from the Dunlop rep now on the rear tire this last session was my fourth session here at the Ridge with brand new Q5 S's and you can see that's the wear bar getting this tear pretty bad on both sides and I asked my friend Fuzzy who was at the Q5 launch and he's telling me to drop my pressures down. So I've dropped them down to 26 hot. We'll see how it goes in the next session, the fifth session on these brand new Q5 S's. So we're at 26 pounds hot, which is a lot lower than last session, which was 30 pounds hot. So let's see how this does. This is session number five. Fifth session on the Q5 S. We've dropped the tire pressure down to 27. And now it looks like this. And we're down to the wear bar. Five sessions, we're down to the wear bar. All right, this is session six, the final session. <laughs> We just finished off the six sessions of today's track day and just want to kind of give a post ride report. So I found that the Dunlop Q5 S's had really, really good grip, especially on the front end. But there's one thing that I didn't particularly like about it. And let's take a look at that right now. So although the tires provided awesome, awesome grip all day, they're wearing in a way that is a little bit concerning. So you can see the front left portion of my tire has this wear pattern that's a little bit unusual. Also, a lot more pilling up than I'm used to seeing on other Dunlops like the Q3 Plus. But the front isn't really that bad. It's the rear that's got me more concerned. So this is a brand new rear tire. It was brand new. And it's got six 20 minute sessions out here at the Ridge Motorsports Park on this 2013 Gixxer 750. So not even a ton of horsepower. And you can see there's a tremendous amount of cupping and wear pattern that just doesn't make you feel good. It looks like shag carpet. Again, the tires felt great. They gave me a ton of confidence out there today. Uh, as you can see, 
not only is the wear pattern pretty severe, but if we scoot the bike forward a little bit, you can see that we are down to the wear bar. We're down to the wear bar in six sessions at a track day. And to me, that's just a little too fast for a rear tire to wear out. Dunlop, you know, has been making their Q3 Plus tire for a long time, and that's normally less than me three track days. So that's kind of where I set the bar. I would hope that Dunlop hears this message and brings back the Q3 Plus. I love that tire. Um, it's not as sticky as this tire, but it provides a good amount of grip and it lasts three track days. So please, please, please Dunlop bring back the Q3 Plus. Thanks for watching this on-track test of the Dunlop Q5S tires. I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out these other videos right here. And we'll see you next time. Peace.